Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having a lovely day today. I have just done this wedding guest makeup um, tutorial. I'm actually going to a wedding as a plus one, so I thought I'd film my wedding guest makeup get ready with me with you guys. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. So I've just put some sleek serum into my hair, so I'm going to put it up in a bun. So um, it kind of like keeps the curls but reduces the full, reduces the um frizz that I have because I'm a frizzy girl you all so I've just come out of the shower um, and I've done my skincare I'm just going to put my moisturiser on which is the oil free ultra moisturising lotion with birch sap three pumps of that I did have some Lawless Lip Balm on, which I might top up in between filming, but let's see how that goes. So I'm going to start off with my eyes. I'm going to get the Makeup with Mario Master Max palette because do I even need to explain myself? So I'm going to be using these two browns in my eye socket, just building that up. So just I like to start off with like the lighter shade. Then we'll take these like darker browns and mix with these two and put it all over my crease. Then we'll get on the crease brush and get this dark brown. I think it's actually used. Most used. Now, I'm going to try something different. Should I try something different the day I'm attending a wedding? Probably not, but I might, yes. I'm taking the Bobbi Brown Long White Eyeshadow Stick in Bark. And then I'm going to use a brush to um, just blend it. Then I'm going to use a Victoria Beckham pencil. I kind of want a black one. And then I'm going to use the Victoria Beckham um, Kajalana in the black shade and literally just go draw it. a slight line. Just drawing a slight line with the Victoria Beckham black liner. Love the Victoria Beckham black liners. They smudge so well. Then I'm going to try and smudge with that. But a bit more neatly. Love it. Now I'm going to get my Anastasia Beverly's and Wheezy palette and I'm going to get a shade Gorgina. This lovely brown shade here and put it all over my lid. Just the mid thirds of my lid.
This isn't this eye look is more of a please trust the process kind of look. Then I'm gonna get my Natasha Denona Microblade Light Liquid Liner. Sorry if I'm a bit congested. I'm just very ill at the moment with my tonsillitis, but I've been improving slowly. So the smudge liner earlier will make it a bit easier to draw the line. But first I like to always draw a thin line. Now I'm going to attempt the wing on YouTube. So this is the most even, I've got my um, eyelids even in a very long time. That's my liquid liner done. I'm so proud to have kind of got it even while I still on YouTube. I normally like to do my eyeliner off camera because it's just a little bit daunting. I'm going to quickly put my refine under eye balm on because I love how cooling it is. Next, I'm going to use my um, primer, which is a new primer I'm testing out today, and it's the Secure, um, it's the One Size Secure the Sweat primer, that's what I'm using today. So that's how much I've got, and I'm just going to warm it in my fingers. And now I'm just going to apply it. It is very, very tacky. I want to say it's um very tacky. So one size beauty recommend me to wait for a minute before I continue putting face makeup on. So I'm going to do my brows. Um, I think 2024 one of my biggest goals is to learn how to do my brows properly because I've been fortunate with very thick brows. Um, so I've just. I honestly normally just don't do anything, just brush through them. Now I've been using this Refi thing, which is nice. But um, I'm unable to get regular eyebrow appointments with my brow lately, so I feel like now I kind of have to stop getting them tinted. Not by choice, by force. So now I have to like, kind of learn how to do my brows. Then I'm going to use the Refi Sculpt. This is called. In the shade Dark. And then I'm going to draw some, I haven't placed some last areas at the front. But I like to fill it. I think it's been a minute, so I can move on to my face makeup now. I think I'm so used to wearing skin tints today, um, these days, but I think I'm going to move on to. Um, I normally wear skin tints on the channel, but because it's a um, wedding I'm attending, I'm going to wear a bit of a high coverage combo. I'm going to wear my NARS tinted moisturizer because that kind of has really good coverage too. And mix it in with Syracuse, um, my NARS Light Reflective Foundation. Two pumps of that. So I think this should be enough for my whole face. Let's find out. Before I pop this foundation on my face, I'm going to use some colour corrector. I didn't forget to use colour corrector. I'm kind of glad that I stopped myself in time to actually put some colour corrector on. I'm going to put some underneath my eyes. It's a lot orange in person than it is showing up on camera.
Dann und schon Brenda M. So the primer is peeling off my skin, which is not cool. I'm gonna take the primer off because it's peeling. It's peeling around my face and I'm not here for it. The primer is coming off guys because And I'm going to go back to my trusty primer, which is the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. It is amazing. I literally just put it on my teeth on. Oh, my brows are down, so let's not attack my brows. I literally feel my pores in. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my colour corrector and hopefully this time my primer doesn't look that bad. Literally, the magic of color corrector is unmatched. The one size powder is flaking like there's no tomorrow. This foundation um, mixture that I've got on my skin is a combination of the NARS Tinted Moisturizer in Santiago and the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade Syracuse. I think I'm going to add one more layer. I think that actually doesn't look that bad. I'm literally having flakes of the one size primer. I'm so gutted that that didn't work and that's peeling on my skin. But at least I like, I'm happy that I just didn't want to brave it and then ruin my makeup and then have to start again after I finished. I've just put on my Hada Beauty 4 filter cut concealer in toasted almond and I'm just buffing that in. Beautiful. Next, I'm using my makeup by Barrier Soft Soft Sculpt Bronzer in the shade Dark. I normally go for my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Concealer. Uh, I normally like to go for my Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand, but because it's a wedding that I'm attending today, I thought. It would be a little bit better to have like a um, creamier product so it will last all day. Look how that blends, like, I'm actually gutted that I don't use this more often. Because this one, 
Okay, let's be honest. Makeup by Mario can do no wrong. Just going to use a little fluffy brush to contour my nose. Oopsie. And then for blush, I'm gonna go for a safe option, my Refine Malia, which is truly loved by me, truly. set my under eyes first it's gonna be like a two-step process because we want that under eye to be snatched so I'm using my Huda Beauty um, baking powder by I'm using my Huda Beauty um, loose powder in the shade Brondy to bake under my eyes and this, like, if you have the time to bake, oh my god, this gives you such a flawless under eye. And while we wait for that, we'll do lips. Lips, I'm going to line my lips with um, Makeup by Barrio Lip Liner in the shade Jeff. And then I'm going to spray my Charlotte Tilbury spray. I like to spray this before I put mascara on because this product makes my mascara smudge. So first I'm going to use my ba Bad Girl Bang Mascara by Benefit. I absolutely adore this mascara. Like, look at that left. Like that's with mascara, that's without mascara. Then on top I'm gonna use my Clinique's Low Lash Power Mascara. I just love I just am a girl that needs at least two layers to three layers of mascara. Two to I love this. Then I'm gonna get the Victoria Beckham liner again and then line my lower lashes. And the last step to my flawless base is the Refi Loose Powder. It's a finishing powder. Just to make sure everything is nice and seamless. Then I'm going to use my New Sticks Highlighter in Bubbly Baby just to do the tiniest sweep for some highlight and that my guys is my finished flawless wedding yes makeup I'm going to go quickly put my dress on and then show you the final look and this is my final wedding guest makeup look guys I hope you enjoyed it I hope you like this makeup look I'll see you in my next video